Okay, I have the Spring Thunder here. This was uh, made by uh, G DOP26. Um, it's uh, I'd say about 80% uh, 3D printed with uh, some uh, PVC piping uh, with the barrel up here and then the other part that holds um, the priming mechanism. Um, I just had a shell eject, which is one of the features that I really enjoy. Um, the fact that you, when you uh, prime it for the next shot, it the shell ejects out. It was really nice. Um, you could also load it uh, the same way uh, with a real shotgun. Um, this was uh, definitely, uh, I'd say, 100% infill due to the... Uh, um, very good structural integrity of the uh, the shotgun. Um, uh, I got the uh, the railings here to put the uh, um, specific uh, scopes on there. Um, I got the uh, the extra piece here for um, to act, add an extra shell in you know in case of emergencies. Um, I got the uh, uh, stock option here uh, which of course you know you can you can update or add whatever you want um, he has the uh, 3d printed uh, files available uh, um, and the um, um, the kit for the remaining the parts like the uh, metal uh, piece here that helps with the priming um, this is not the uh, stock priming piece I added that my I paid for that my um, and uh, had, had, had that sent to me um, I thought it felt better to grip um, you can now add a uh, extension of the PVC piping through here uh, in case you want to make it a little you know have a little longer barrel out there um, you know painting it would be very you know very easy and um, you know um, it um, you know cocks very easily you know um, so as you can see there it shoots and then of course you know when you uh, when you go to um, fire you know prime it again out comes the shell um, he has a uh, I have sent he has sent me a uh, several um, different uh, shells, which uh, some use the the mega darts, uh, some use the regular size darts, um, others use like uh, these tri uh, darts of like no no typical size, um, and um, you know you can pretty much use all kinds of ammo on there, which is uh, very cool. Um, and then of course, you know, um, the bend, the bend ear that holds the, uh, shells, and, um, I had, um, let's see if I can get one out here, um, there we go, I had painted the shells to, uh, look like real shotgun shells, I might have to touch them up again a little bit, um, I thought it would add to the, uh, the realism. Um, he has plenty, of, plenty of other um, options. Uh, like I said, all, even the shells and everything else can be um, 3D printed in case you need to replace any any pieces. Um, this is my first uh, 3D printed um, shotgun piece, and uh, I have been um, thoroughly. Uh, happy with it. Um, I'm going to try to uh, decide what, which way I want to paint it. Uh, and I have others as you can see here to review uh, and test out and paint and mod and all that stuff. Um, you know, obviously this doesn't need any of that uh, as far as modding goes. Um, uh, he also has a really nice uh, lever action um, shotgun, which, you know, I love. You know, I'm a stickler for uh, the uh, Old West style uh, arms, 
uh, and uh, I, I, I can't wait to get my hands on that one and test that one next. Um, I would strongly recommend going to uh, GDOP26's uh, site. I will try to post a link on the video um, so that um, you know you guys, you guys and girls can go over there and check them out. Um, does a great job. Uh, ships fast. Um, answers you very quickly. Uh, I would definitely recommend going to it. Thank you.